At the rear of the gantry, we also have a link truss taking the horizontal force when we need to transverse slide the entire gantry. We also have a generator platform which uh, enables you to keep the gantry totally separate from the deck below. It is totally self-contained with all the power supply on the top. On the left you see a uh, cat ladder to enable easy access for refueling the generator. At the moment the gantry has been launched 15 meters. The rear leg has now been jacked down and they're preparing to release the rear LCB and the rear ULRS. The rear leg comprises two individual legs, each leg comprising of two long stroke jacks. Two long stroke jacks are extended until the spreader beam engages to the segment. Once the once the correct load has been engaged, the ring nut on the center white member is engaged and locked off with a safety pin. This ensures that no movement can take place when we lift the LCB and ULRS. The gantry is designed so that it can place 30 to 45 meter spans. This means that we have to relocate the rear leg and front leg. To do this, we have the whole rear leg suspended upon a set of rollers. These rollers are hanging from a from a rail which is then supported by the gantry and they are fixed to a chain drive. This chain drive is controlled by remote control from inside the gantry. Here we see the rear leg CPU moving system. This is an electrical chain drive and this can be controlled via a remote control inside the gantry.